Now, my thing is this. This shit happened 10 years ago. Not 10 months ago. 10 years ago. Why are you still talking about this shit? Because this is what's going to happen. This is, how, this is how bullshit start trickling up. Just as well as he got niggas, I got niggas too. My phone ring too. I know people in different places too. You understand what I'm saying? So now you making a situation that's not a situation anymore. I get it. You feel a way. You got your ass beat. All right. You want to fight? We can fight. You want to get in the ring? We get in the ring. What you calling Ye? What you calling Yayo out for? Anyway, I asked the uh, celebrity box Tony Yayo the other day. Anyway, <laughs> so you you want to box Tony Yayo and some celebrity yeah, I'll boxers? Yeah, celebrity box Tony Yayo. Cause cause he was definitely there. Cause you can yeah, hear Tony he was, Yayo, but he didn't do nothing. All you heard was him saying, "Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga." <laughs> Why you calling him? Don't call him out. Call me out. Get in the ring with me. And then I feel away because you keep getting on these drinks talking about what you would have did and what you would have did to Mike Knox and all it. I don't, I be taking their light on this situation because I don't really care about it. And I'm really like a different type of dude, like meaning like this internet, people watch this shit. People, kids watch this shit. So I don't be saying certain shit because I'm just a different type of individual. But what I will say is anything I, 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 I want to say, I'll say it to your face instead of saying it on the internet. It's been 10 years. It's 10 years and you still talking about this ass whooping that nobody gives a fuck about. Like nobody cares about this ass whooping. And you sit here saying if you had a knife, which you would have did to me, or I would stab him in his armpits if I had a knife. No. You wouldn't have, because if you would have did that, you wouldn't be here today to talk about it. Then I jumped on one of them. Uh, I think it was Mike Knox again, and uh, I wish I had my shank on me. <laughs> then I would have, <laughs> I was already going out with a bang. And I said, nah, don't take the shank, dog. Don't add no extra charges, dog. If, you, but if I would have brought that, I would have jabbed him right in his armpit right there. Da, 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 da. Nah, let me take, take that back because they gonna persecute me again, dogs. <laughs> Good place says you gonna stab Mike Knox. Nah, nah. <laughs> but um, nah, I just you know just try to get some get back. There's no way in the world you would have did something like that to me and thinking you gonna be here to talk about it. And that's just what it is. We're just gonna be real with what this shit is. Everybody keeps saying what they will do, what they about, what they this. There's no videos of me being knocked out all over the internet. There's, I don't have, he got, he gets knocked out on a normal basis. This is what he gets into. He gets drunk and gets up. I don't do drugs. I don't come from none of that. You understand what I'm saying? So my thing is, let that shit go because it's going to get ugly for no reason because you keep bringing up shit from the past and you kicking up dust. And at the end of the day, if you feel away and you want to get the shit off your chest, let's get in the ring and get off, get it off our chest. And I know he couldn't stand two rounds with me. Anybody want to put the money up and feel like they want to bet on that shit, I knock that nigga out in a round or the second round, guaranteed. I'll rumble the nigga. I don't have no problem with getting in the ring and beating him the up by myself. That's a fact. That's, that's what I do. So if he wants to do that, we can do that. But all this keep getting on people, blogs, and trying to make a press run. Like, this is what he did the first time. See, the first time, people don't realize, as soon as after this shit happened, the next day, this nigga was on the Breakfast Club on the radio. No, I'm lying. This nigga was on TMZ. Lying. Saying he didn't get jumped. Lying. Saying he, oh, and the scar was on my face. Nigga, you didn't show your face until weeks later. You know you was. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.